Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. Thank you for all the likes this morning, helping getting the word out on this storm. Because, matter of fact, I have more bad news. It keeps getting worse. And it will be right over here in the southern Gulf. Matter of fact, you can see with the pressure center that the low pressure center is right over here below these thunderstorms. So it's trying to get reared up. Florida, you need to listen up. They are calling for since Helene came by. The storm surge was pretty strong for you, but since this is going to be a direct impact, this is going to be worse than what you encountered when Helene came by. Now, the latest showing that it will do that northern trend towards Tampa. Matter of fact, I'm seeing even more of a northern trend. You can see this right here, even more of a northern trend. This is what the GFS has been seeing earlier. Matter of fact, showing stronger. And the newer information that we have that we can see now with the hurricane models shows it's going to be potentially a Cat 3, maybe even up towards a Cat 4 hurricane, showing it will go right on that high ridge pulled by the jet stream winds and it will start curving at the last second now this will update right now they have it somewhere around 109 miles per hour sustained winds 132 miles per hour wind gusts as this storm system comes across i'm showing a lot more strength matter of fact the trend is at least not only a strong cat 2 a low end cat 3 they did say the system was forecast to intensify while it moves eastward to northeastward across the gulf of mexico and reach either hur major hurricane strength or right at major hurricane strength. This is coming Wednesday morning, maybe even impacts overnight Tuesday into Wednesday morning. There's increasing risk of life-threatening storm surge for the reasons as I have just told you. So what they are saying is if you're going to evacuate what you should evacuate if you're in the area, please listen to your local officials. Get out by Monday because you're not going to run into a lot of time. This is going to be a big issue as far as surge because it's going straight for the bays right for the west coast and you're going to get the eye. So it's going to be the high storm surge, the high winds and all that will be on western Florida. Also, the storm surge could be worse than Helene. I told you that already. And the weakening before landfall will extend the area of the winds. So if we start seeing that weakening phase right before landfall, instead of a maintaining or a strengthening phase because of the jet stream, it will broaden out the system and it'll get really big and broad and it'll bring a bigger wind field as well. Be out by Monday. This is a fast growing situation, everybody. You can see a good problem right here. There's your deep ocean heat content showing a lot of warm temperatures below. It's going to help this storm start strengthening, start intensifying really good. But right when it goes towards Florida's landfall, right when it's starting to feel that jet stream, it's going to be going over warm deep ocean heat uh, temperatures over here by the loop current once again as it heads towards Florida. That's going to help it stay strong and combat some of that cheer. Updated runs are in, showing even more strength. Now it's showing a lot of models, showing potential chances of high-end Cat 3 to a low-end Cat 4 of a hurricane. And this is going to be coming early in the morning and still be over landfall, you mind you. Still be over landfall as a strong hurricane still as it goes into the Atlantic Ocean. So it's still going to be a hurricane on landfall and past that across Florida. And you can see the track guidance here showing that more majority of them is confirming that northward push rather than that southern push. Showing the latest on GFS, also confirming this is right where National Hurricane Center is getting their information from, that the average is showing that it will do that curve right here towards Tampa, but the more likely outcome in the latest run Showing that northward push of storm surge and winds on western Florida. That's why they're saying it's going to be more significant than Helene. I have this link in the description for all of you. You can zoom in and go to your area and see where you're at according to the cone so far. What your impact winds potentially could be. Because you can see what the so far is 110. This is going to change. I guarantee this is going to be more of a high pull to the north. And this is going to change a little bit. It's going to come back. The intensity, but I believe going over that loop current is going to help this storm stay strong. Matter of fact, you can see the update, the 12Z that come in. GFS confirming this will continue to strengthen all the way down to a 959 hurricane. We're talking about a major hurricane landfall, everybody. And remember, we still got that other one. Showing on the latest information that once we get around Monday morning, really around 10 o'clock in the morning, once we get around that time, then it's going to get on that path and it's going to start pulling itself into that direction. And it's going to stay in that direction the whole time. Just stay on that east-northeast pull. 
bringing all the impacts right here the storm surge the winds everything you're going to feel from this now remember if this weakens down right before landfall it's going to broaden out even more a huge area of wind field could exist with this system and showing it will get a little bit closer towards land right there as it exits florida you can see that right there so we need to watch out for that as well but it will go out to the east not north after that but it has a little more playroom than before but also confirming it will intensify while it's combating that shear because of what the jet stream is doing on that pulling angle like it did with helene helping it breathe some so as you go by for tuesday night starts coming in overnight one o'clock in the morning this is your sustained winds and i will show you the trend after this trust me the trend after this is stronger than this this is showing you will get anywhere around 30 to 40 miles per hour sustained winds i know the colors could fool you a little bit that red is getting around the 40s that's tropical storm strength and you can see right here the strength of the hurricane so as we go by for the morning you see it starts gradually increasing then it combats the shear a little bit you see that it goes all the way from 102 combats the shear strengthens again combats the shear strengthens again and right at landfall over a major hurricane and you still got more time to go so at this point you're feeling 90 100 miles per hour sustained wind showing 110 but you see right here that's the strongest part right here still in the gulf you got a little bit on the northern side as well so keep that but as you keep going boom you see another one that goes down to 105 now it's strengthening again it's getting pulled it's breathing good it don't weaken down before landfall it combats that a little bit also it's not on landfall it has a little more time to strengthen so if it curves again unfortunately this is a bad scenario as it is but versus hitting right here get a little more playroom right here if it goes a little bit more it will have even more time to strengthen that's why we got to watch that northward pull a very rough scenario as this goes all morning long then it goes to the outside. So after it crosses over, it's bringing a lot of sustained winds on the outside as well. And you got to watch for the bandage. Look at that. It's going to bring strong waves and the surge and the tornadoes. But that brings it right towards Florida, right towards Tampa. And you can see where the storm surge would persist. So it would be pulling right into that direction, right into the bay. And then as it passes by, it brings even more then it brings it right into that direction so you're going to get a lot of surge a lot of impacts plus it's still pulling it way out here so we're talking about a big broad system so it's not just going to be over here but it's still going to be the worst right there so please please heed my warning get out by monday if you can look the, the wind gusts bringing it well over 100 to 105 right in that region. This will update. I think we're going to see more strength. I think we might actually see this go a little more of an angle like that and bring Cedar Key into it a little more. Plus this, as you go into Wednesday, the wave height gets really big. So not only do you have the storm surge, you got the wind, you got everything else going on. Way over here from Northport, Cape Coral, you got anywhere from 14, 15 foot Waves coming in higher towards Sarasota in the bay. Very high. Look at these waves. Right next to it, 20-foot waves. 20-foot waves coming with that storm system. Probably higher if I search from higher. If I just be a little picky, I'm sure I can get higher if I keep going. 27. So as you get closer, it's bringing all that surge right into that region. You have very high waves as well with that surge. So this is going to be... A worst case scenario, unfortunately, for Western Florida, by the way it is looking, please, if you're in this area, alert everyone you know. They must leave. This is going to be a serious impact. The latest updates. Look at a hurricane analysis forecast system. A, let's see what the trend is. Very strong strengthening up to a four or more. And showing that landfall around 10 a.m., same strength that you are seeing right there with the GFS, I'd like to add you. That's just trending right there. That you will have a high end three or a four coming your way. Showing the strength of the winds will be anywhere around 137 sustained winds, a very powerful hurricane. It will combat the shear. 
and go up and down. Now on this one, it weakens it good. See how it goes down and up back to 90 and then it goes back down to the 80s, then it weakens it down. So it's showing that it will get weak according to this model. That's the only thing that's not trending just yet according to the GFS and the hurricane models. So we're gonna have this huge system, potentially a Cat 3 or a Cat 4 in the Gulf. When it weakens down quickly like this, this is that other scenario I was telling you, right before landfall, it would be a bigger, broader system where everyone would be involved in the impacts. This is coming in as a hurricane, trying to come in as a Cat 2 hurricane right before landfall. Showing at the strongest point, the wind gusts will get somewhere around 150 plus miles per hour right here around the eye. But you see as it goes closer that it shows 7 a.m. on Wednesday, you're gonna be getting those 70, those 80, those 90 miles per hour wind gusts coming on shore, even the 100, it's still over 110 over here in the Gulf. Look how it comes across, look how it covers Georgia, it covers Northern Florida, look how the winds are broad all the way around to the Bahamas. Plus, don't forget when it passes, you're gonna have that serious tropical tornado threat on northern Florida. So it's gonna be southern, then northern. Trying to go by the trend. So now we can see the H-Wharf. We can see the H-Wharf and the H-Mon. H-Wharf takes it even worse. Brings it up to 147 miles per hour sustained winds. And shows it will combat that, stay around 145, getting really close, really concerning, but then start going down just a little bit more before landfall. Still showing you will have a major land, major hurricane landfall if that happens. So the winds, instead of the winds of 100 to 105, now you're talking 120 plus, maybe even more as that passes by. Look at that, all over Florida, just outage for a long time. And we also have the H-Mon. So we look at the H-Mon, the H-Mon shows another very powerful major hurricane, 148 miles per hour sustained winds. So it's trending with the H-Wharf, 146. H-Wharf showed 145 right there. They are trending that we have a Cat 3 or 4 coming our way. Look at these winds and then come on landfall with all those winds and going across. Also showing the tropical tornado threat and the strengthening of this system will be outrageous. This is not your two meter winds. This is your, your lower level winds, your 850 millibars. Your winds aloft when you have these storms spinning around. And you can see right before landfall as it comes in for Wednesday afternoon, according to the HMON, takes a little bit later than the rest of them. All these strong winds aloft. Look how the system stays strong and stays very strengthened, especially on the northern and the western side as it crosses over Florida the whole time. It did not weaken down. It did not show very strong anomalies of weakening. It is about to have landfall. And since it weakens at the last second right before landfall and it broadens out, it's reaching way over into the Atlantic as well. So you have this huge anomaly coming through that will defeat itself from the warm temperatures in the Atlantic while it's still in the Gulf. Look at the ensembles with GFS, the latest update to see if there's gonna be any bouncing. So far showing by the control member, you can see right here, you're more than likely outcome that it is this latest run that we are seeing. That is trending and that is your more than likely outcome. So please, if you can hear my voice, if you're in Tampa or the region near it, please leave. This is going to be a really bad scenario. But my heart goes out to every single one of y'all. God bless you and your families. Please heed my advice. I cannot keep saying this over and over. Please leave. This is not one to write out. This is just as bad as Helene was, if not worse for all of you, because y'all had a different impact from Helene. A lot of y'all had a lot of bad storm surge, but as far as the banding and all the rain and everything that happened, you probably think it wasn't all that rough. This is going to be bad for you. Thank you for your time, everybody. I appreciate every single one of y'all. Be careful out there, not only for what you're enduring, trying to get supplies and what you're going to do with yourself and your everything you own be careful for the devil out there because he's tried so hard to get me to stop making this video for you this afternoon if you ask my wife you'd see it was, it was so much adversity it was unbelievable but what they don't know is i care about you all and i love you all and i was going to stop at nothing so i was going to make this regardless before i go first peter chapter five 
6 through 11. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, that he might exalt you in due time, casting all your care upon him, for he careth for you. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour. Whom resist steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. But the God of all grace, who hath called us unto his eternal glory by Christ Jesus, after that ye have suffered a while, make you perfect, establish, strengthen, settle you. To him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. Please get everything in order, everybody. Make sure your neighbors are aware of this information. Don't leave your pets. Take everything with you. Remember, all glory does go to God, our Father in heaven, Yahweh. And I always hope he keeps you safe every single day of your life and forever. <laughs> Amen! <laughs> Hallelujah! <laughs> Keep us safe, Father. Please get out if you can. <laughs>